whenever you have a Jupyter notebook, it's stored with an IPYNB extension, right? It, it's called IPython notebook, IPYNB. Mustafa, is this clear to you? Everyone knows that, that a Jupyter notebook is basically of an IPYNB format, right? Like this, see, Python core dot IPYNB. So whenever you have a IPYNB format file, you can assume that it's a Jupyter notebook file. All right. Now here it's, it's very simple. Uh, the, the overall UI of Jupyter notebook is pretty simple. You have your kernels here at times. So right now you're running like Python three. You can also change kernels from here. So basically Jupyter notebook is a single tool which you can use to run your Python codes. You can use to run your R codes. You can, you can maybe even run your Java codes here. All right. And the good thing, like why Jupyter notebook is recommended for first time users is the mere simplicity, right? So if you see, I'm teaching you using Jupyter notebook. So it's, it's not like a typical programming console where you have that black screen or that complicated white screen where you see like those small, small fonts and letters may all those codes and there's nothing. It's like a blank screen. And then you are clueless what to do. Jupyter notebook is not like that. It's very user friendly. Yeah. And it's basically meant for people who want to, uh, who, who are not like uh, hardcore programmers who are basically business oriented uh, technical people and uh, whose objective is not just to write codes, but also to present stuff. So if you see, like I, I'm, I'm presenting the whole course to you in a Jupyter notebook. So it's not just, it's not, it's not, it's not just the, uh, it's not just the code. It's not just the coding console, but over, overall, what you could do here is you could also present whatever stuff you have really easy to senior management, right? So that's, that's, that's a very critical aspect of using a Jupyter notebook. 